So a couple of days ago, I was watching some YouTube, and I came across this video from popular Bethesda content creator, Juve. A video called, Fighting the Strongest Enemy at Level 1, Fall of New Vegas. Notice the wording here, fighting, not beating. And the title is accurate, he does fight the strongest enemy, but he doesn't beat it. I sat back in my chair and thought, that's lame. I know beating the strongest enemy is possible, this is New Vegas, anything is possible. So I decided that I would one-up Juve and actually do it. Except I decided to not fight the strongest enemy, the legendary bloatfly. No, instead I decided to fight the second strongest enemy, the cave-dwelling Deathclaw from the Divide herself, Rar. And make no mistake, Rar is a girl. You wanna know why? Rar is guaranteed to drop a Deathclaw egg on death, and the only other places that have guaranteed Deathclaw egg drops are places that have Deathclaw mothers in them. So there, this abomination is a girl. Case closed. Setting aside this lore detail, Rar, despite being second best, is still an incredibly hard fight, and I knew it was going to be difficult. But as Sun Tzu once said, the first step to achieving victory is knowing your enemy. No, he didn't actually say that, I lied. Sounds legit though, right? But let's know our enemy and examine Rar's stats. Rar has 900 health, almost double the health of a normal Deathclaw, a damage threshold of 15, all special stats of 10 except Charisma and Intelligence, and her melee swipes do 350 damage. Let me repeat that. Her melee hits do 350 damage. That's enough to kill my level 1 character nearly three times over. It's an insane amount. Oh, and she's faster than you two. A lot faster. She can catch up to you alarmingly quickly. So this is a tough opponent, and I will need to strategize a lot. Speaking of that, remember earlier when I said I lied about quoting Sun Tzu? Well, yeah, I lied about that too, because Sun Tzu did say something incredibly similar to that. What he actually said was, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. So let's know ourselves and see what options we have in terms of strategy. So where are we going to be fighting Rar? Same way as Juve, we're fighting her in Good Springs by spawning her in with console commands. The other most obvious question is, what weapon are we going to be using? So let's examine our options in terms of weapons while remaining in Good Springs. We can basically discount any melee weapon because getting too close to Rar is a one-way ticket to the Shadow Realm. So what ranged options do we have? Well, there are a lot of different weapons you can obtain while just being in Good Springs. The 9mm pistol, the 9mm submachine gun, the recharger rifle, the laser pistol, the plasma pistol, dynamite, the varmint rifle, the 357 revolver, and the BB gun. <laughs> Out of all of these weapons, the plasma pistol is the best one. Originally, I was going to talk about why it's the best one by examining all the weapons, but it ended up being way too long. All you need to know is that the plasma pistol has the highest base damage of all of these, at 33, and it has a DPS of 47. Okay, enough strategizing, let's do this. But first, we need to lay out some- Oh my god, just get to the point! Okay, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible, but there are some rules for this challenge. First off, no vats. I'd rather rely on my own skill rather than random chance. That's kind of the point of a challenge. Second, no pre-order packs. It's well known at this point that the stuff you get from pre-ordering the game, or more commonly with the courier stash, are meant to be OP rewards that ruin immersion and early level gameplay. I kind of went back on this rule later, but then I went back on going back on it. It's complicated, you'll see. Third, no leaving good springs. And by leaving good springs, I mean triggering this pop-up that asks if you want to rebuild your character. This effectively limits the arena we'll be fighting Rar in to the areas around Good Springs and Good Springs Source. It'd be trivially easy to go out in the wasteland, find a fat man without leveling up, and come back. And finally, no bugs and glitches or exploits. Remember this rule, it's gonna come up later. Oh yeah, a normal difficulty, but I think that was obvious. So, I woke up in Doc Mitchell's house and began the game. I struggled a bit on what to name my character, but then I remembered another legend, who, against all odds, defeated a seemingly impossible enemy. D. Tysonator. Yes! Guys, it's over! 
Hasta la vista, Mikey. It's over, man. Terminate it. I knew if I wanted to beat RAR, I had to be as cool as that guy. <laughs> for my special stats, I maxed out Perception for Energy Weapons, Agility for Reloading, and Luck for Critical Hits. And I put the rest of the points into Strength, because the other stats don't really matter in this scenario. For my tag skills, I tagged Energy Weapons, Explosives, and Sneak. Explosives because I wasn't sure if I was going to use the Grenade Rifle. And for my traits, I picked the best damage dealing traits, Fast Shot and Built to Destroy. And I emerged outside, ready to kick gum and chew ass. And the first thing I did while I was outside was cheat. I spawned in bottle caps so I can buy the plasma pistol, as well as ammunition for it. The reason I did it is because I didn't even know if it was possible, and I didn't know how much ammo I would need. And I didn't want to waste time waiting for Chet's shop to restock, only to realize I didn't need that much ammo. So I decided to just get the items quickly for a trial run, and then do it real if I can pull it off. I checked to make sure that I was on normal, I'm glad I checked. And I spawned in RAR. Immediately, she started running off towards the Prospector Saloon and slashing at NPCs over there. I have no idea why. This will be a running theme. The AI was very janky. I immediately started shooting at her and fucking died. This will also be a running theme. Cue more of the same for the next 10 minutes. Me thinking naively that I could just outrun her and getting dunked on. After 10 minutes of that, I had another idea. Cheating again. No, seriously, I turned off her AI. The reason I did this is earlier I could have snuck off in the other direction while she was attacking people at the Prospector Saloon, so this is really more of a convenience thing. Plus, in my later runs I didn't use it. At that point I really started to get serious, I wanted to win. So my strategy was this, sneak away and go up the hill towards Doc Mitchell's house and then fire and hope I get enough shots in before she ganks me. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that this didn't work. Well, I mean, it kind of did. In this run, I decided to hide behind the picket fence outside Doc Mitchell's house, and it worked. When Rar came running, she wasn't even down 80% of her health, but... You good? Yeah, she was stuck on the fence, so I just kept pumping shots into her. Until she died. And just like that, I had beaten Rar at level 1. But wait, hold on for a second. Think about what I just did. I got into a spot where Rar could not hit me. This goes against rule 4, no glitches or exploits. I'm exploiting the game by getting into a spot where she can't hit me. Well, that's bullshit, and it doesn't make for an interesting video. So I needed to come up with a new strategy that doesn't involve cheesy spots like this. And I came up with one pretty quickly. I took a break to eat and then came back to the game. I actually rebuilt my character because of what I thought was a new strat, but it didn't end up being anything, so it's not worth mentioning. I went into the general store and sold all of the stuff that I got from the courier stash and bought a plasma pistol and all the energy cells that Chet had. Then I started testing my new strategy. You see this ridge right here? I can jump up on top of it. But I'm betting that RAR cannot, and I can go freely between the top of the ridge and the bottom while he has to walk around. When RAR came running towards me, he came up top, I dropped down, and he got confused and started running around again. Unfortunately, this ridge is also incredibly hard to jump up on top of. It's very easy to miss the jump, and if you miss it once, 
you run the risk of getting absolutely fucked. Q 10 minutes of this strategy not working because I fucking suck balls. The distance she needs to run to get around and swipe at me after I jump is just too short, and the jump is just too hard, so I decided to start walking around Good Springs looking for another ridge that would work better. I decided to try this one near Good Springs Cemetery because I assumed that he wouldn't just run over the rock next to it. I was wrong. Then I found this one next to the schoolhouse. This ledge looked like just enough that maybe he wouldn't be able to run over it. Well, that might have been true, but I never got to test it, because as soon as I would spawn him and go on this ledge, he would immediately run in the direction of the schoolhouse, and get stuck behind the fences. I even tried this multiple times, and the same thing happened. Do another 10 minutes of me trying to figure out why the fuck this wasn't working. Eventually, though, I wandered in the direction of Good Springs Source, where I found the God Spot. Jesus Christ, it sounds stupid when I say it like that. The spot I'm referring to is this spot right here, near Good Springs Source. It's two easy jumps and you're up. It's not tricky like the other one. This spot was better than that spot in another way, too. The distance she had to run around was much greater. That's not to say that there weren't disadvantages to this spot, though. Because there were some times where she would hit me even though I was on the other side of the ridge. So I had to be wary about getting hit. Regardless, I had a much better chance of succeeding with this spot than the other one. So I started attempting it, and I'll show you the run where I succeeded. I won't bore you with all the details of this fight, mainly because it was a hollow victory. It wasn't real. You see, when she was at about 40% health, uh, I ran out of ammo for my plasma pistol. I could go back and buy more ammo and try again, wasting this run, or I could break the rules. Yeah, I chose to break the rules. So at that point, I decided that I was going to do another run that didn't break the rules and also didn't quick save. So I started a new character, again. And I dropped everything I got from the courier stash right behind Doc Mitchell's dresser, for safekeeping. Then I went around Good Springs, stealing, trying to get enough caps for a plasma pistol and ammo. This part was very boring and took me like 30 minutes. But eventually, I was back in the battlefield with RAR. And I did it. Okay, for real this time. I had done it. I had killed Rar. Finally. I mean, I had done it before, but like, for real, I'd killed Rar. And so, our brave hero, D. Tysonator, stood before the goo pile of his eviscerated enemy. Rar was no more. And that was the end. Also, one more thing. Comment down below if you want to see me do the actual hardest enemy.